Have you ever found yourself being super busy for a day, weeks, months, and despite all the hard work, all the hustles that you are putting in, you are not getting closer to the desired objective that you have set for yourself. If this sounds familiar, please keep watching. In this video, I want to share a common reason why this happens to so many of us. What is this blocker that keeps you away from living the life that you want? How to figure out if this is your issue and how to use these findings and put them in a system that will help you to get closer from where you are right now to where you want to be. By the way, this is the system I learned from Ali Abdal's personal business coach. Let me start with a story of a young girl. At the age of 25, she started her first business by making women's handbags and fashion accessories. And fueled by her own savings, by passion and support of her partner, the business had a very swift and promising start. Online sales, customers from, from US to Australia, collaborations with other designers, fashion magazine features, photo shoots, and eventually an important partnership with the leather goods manufacturer in Stockholm, who works with the most renowned with the most renowned brands in Sweden and a manufacturer that is also a purveyor to the royal court of Sweden. And it all seemed uh, cool and dandy until it became obvious that the whole business is failing to break even. I mean, really failing. That young, hardworking and very naive girl, that was me. And it took me almost five years and costed me very serious burnout and almost 4,000 euros spent on therapy and coaching to finally figure out what was my problem. And my problem was that I had no idea who I was. Let me explain. What I liked about this business, what made me so much passionate about it was the process of creation new designs, photo shoots in Paris, styling, location scouting, uh, trade shows, choosing leather samples, buying leather. Basically, I was thinking and acting in this business as a fashion designer. But what I wanted, I wanted this to be a profitable enterprise. Do you see a disconnect here? I acted as a fashion designer, but I wanted to be a successful entrepreneur. And in order to be entrepreneur, you need to think, act and behave as entrepreneur. And this means business strategy, sales funnel, healthy margins for business growth, cost cutting, scalability. Do you see the difference? The role that I played did not align with the goal that I had in mind. You might think that, okay, I could have hired or partnered with someone who would take the business part of this project, fair enough. However, uh, when you are a business owner and small business owner in particular, you are usually uh, wearing several hats. So you need to play several roles at the same time. And it is very easy to get stuck and get those blinders that does not allow you uh, to see outside your role, to see outside your box that you have stuck. And of course, this applies not only to business owners, but to everyone. We are playing different roles during the day. We need to switch different hats. And I'm talking not only about professional roles, but also about a role being a good parent, being a good partner, being a friend. The problem starts when we get stuck in a role that does not match our dreams. For example, you are dreaming of becoming a New York Times best-selling author, but at the same time you haven't written anything in ages. Or you want to be a successful TED Talks speaker, but you are avoiding public speaking at any cost. You want to stay strong and energetic to spend more quality time with your kids and grandkids. While you're having this uh, vision of your ideal life in your mind, you are still skipping again and again your gym. What are the odds of achieving your dream life if you are stuck in the role that is far from where you want to be? 
Taking new roles is not easy and we all have our reasons why we might be avoiding them, often without realizing that the roles that we are having right now won't lead us to the life that we desire. So the first step in breaking the circle is to do a reality check with yourself. When you know what results you want to celebrate at the end of the year, ask yourself, who is the person who can achieve this goal? What does this person do, think, behave that makes the goal achievable? What do I need to do to become this person? What resources do I already possess to start acting, thinking, behaving as a person who can achieve the life that I want. This honest self-reflection can be done alone or with your coach. And I truly believe that coaching is ideal tool to help you navigate in those identity questions. Behavior follows the identity. In essence, coaching is a professional tool, a technology for communication, for interaction with others or with yourself. And this technology is based on eight competencies of a professional coach that are outlined by ICF, International Coaching Federation. And out of these eight competencies, the competency number seven is especially designed to help clients to evoke awareness about own identity, explore and, and expand knowledge about yourself, your circumstances, beliefs, assumptions, and shedding light on the blind spots and potential uh, growth areas. By the way, soon I will be opening my calendar for new clients. So if you are looking for a coach to help you define your desired future and help you finding ways how to get there, Please let me know. I will be happy to work with you. Write a word coach in the comments and I will personally reach out to you. Once you have your goal in mind and you have a feeling of a person who is capable of achieving this goal, it is time to build your own dream team. I learned about this practice from Eric Partaker, who is CEO coach and happens to be a coach, business coach of Ali Abdal. This is how I found out about him. And Eric speaks about this approach to goal setting in his book, The Three Alarms. And he also had a course, Peak Performance, that I did at the end of 2023. In the original Dream Team practice, Eric suggests to create your best version identities across three domains, health, wealth, and relationship. And all that together, this dream team will help you to live your best life. I have modified this practice so that it can serve a specific objective that needs to be achieved. I start with the end goal in mind, whereas the original version of this practice starts with a domain and leaves the end goal vision to the very end. I basically do a sort of reverse engineering. So here's how it works best for me. For this year, I have set myself two goals. Well, two goals that I will talk about in this video. One is to do headstand in yoga and increase my flexibility and strength by means of yoga. And the second goal is to show off more as a coach on YouTube. And basically my goal was to publish 12 videos throughout the year, meaning that I need to publish at least one video per month. These goals that I have in mind are setting the direction of where I want to end up at the end of the year, what exactly I want to celebrate at the end of 2024. Once I have a clear direction, I need to assign myself a role, an identity that will help me to get there. For my yoga related goal, the role that I'm assigning to myself so basically, you need to give a, a name to this role. The name that I have given to this persona is Yoga Queen. Please don't judge. Uh, this is uh, what resonates with me. The, so the identity I have for yoga goal is the Yoga Queen. For my YouTube goal, the role that I'm assigning for myself, the name that I'm giving to this persona is Professional YouTuber. 
the next step is to define three core values that will describe this role. Why these values are so important? They will serve you and me as a reminder to myself of how the best version of myself in this role will show up, will behave and think. The core values for my yoga queen are determined, disciplined and flexible. Flexible here meaning that I am able to adapt in case of changing circumstances, for example, in case there is no yoga mat where I travel, how will a yoga uh, queen act in this case? For my YouTube identity, for my professional YouTuber, the core values are disciplined, consistent, and good enough, not perfect. So these values are reminder to myself of how best version of myself in these roles should show up. Finally, once we have the destination where we want to get, we have defined the persona, the role that will help us to get there. We have defined the core values of each role. Now comes this final step in this system, which is super important because we need to be able to measure if we are really showing up as best versions of ourselves in each role. We need our champion proofs. It is number one thing that I will do daily to validate that I really showed up as a person, as identity that is bringing me closer to the goal that I have set for myself. So this is the evidence that I want to collect that proves to me that I am moving slowly but steady to the destination that I have set. Here is a very important thing to remember. The context might change. So you have to choose what is the best for you today in a particular role. For example, for me today to show up as a yoga queen, it might mean that I need to take a rest because I'm not feeling good. And this will be my evidence that I acted as best version of myself in this role. Or let's say best version of my yoga queen will mean that instead of 30 minute yoga practice, I'm taking five minute yoga practice because I simply don't have time. These five minutes, not ideal, but it's best what is available for me today. These five minutes will be my champion proof that I showed up as best version of my yoga queen identity. Do you get the point? And the same for my professional YouTuber identity. I don't film every day, but I collect my champion proofs. Yesterday, my champion proof was a brainstorming, uh, just thinking in my head what could be the future topics for my future YouTube videos. This was the evidence for me that I am moving towards the desired outcomes that I have set in this uh, YouTube track. Basically, you can turn it into a game, a little challenge that you will have for yourself, collecting those champion proofs daily. When you choose to authorize your champion proofs, you choose to notice them in a month, in two months, three months, you will start noticing very interesting things. You will start to notice how these micro shifts are bringing you forward to the destination that you have set for yourself. Basically, it is another take on atomic habits. You will see how the micro shifts that you are doing daily are getting you closer to the big macro goal that you have set for yourself. The distance between where you are and where you want to be is shrinking. This is how your own dream team can help you to live the life uh, you want. Do let me know how this dream team practice resonates with you. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to elaborate if something was not clear. And um, yeah, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing. It motivates me a lot to continue filming improving my editing and storytelling skills. I appreciate so much your time and engagement and see you in the next video. Bye.